And what is that? Huh. Uh-huh. I think it's the second time that swooped around today. And they're bigger and it's closer. There were four of them. Look at that. I mean, what in the world? It's time for them to let us know. everybody, it's Steve Olson. It is November 1st, 2016, evening time. I thought I'd go through and just show a couple things tonight and, you know, talk about a couple images that I got and then show some um, images at the end from October, kind of a review of some of the things we saw in the month. Um, this is a photograph from the Midwest at 1.15 a.m. towards the east. And uh, the reason that it's interesting is because it is a very deep red light and uh, the, the moon is actually behind the sun right now, so the moon is going to come up before the sun. So, an interesting photograph. Thank you for sharing it. And, and again, this, this ominous red kind of color on the horizon. Here's one of those sneaky pictures, you know. You look at it and you go, what the heck are they trying to tell me they're seeing in this picture? And then, as you check this out, this is, this is very strange, guys. As you zoom in on this uh, cloud, you see this green orb. And we have been seeing this green planet refracted, reflected, and I think this is just one of those times where the lensing system was not directly blocking it off. And check out how the light actually bends around it, too. Um, very, very interesting shot. That is a very loud Doberman behind me, too, that is chewing up a bottle, just so you know. But check out that green object, man. Let's see if I can pull in a little closer on it. Look at it. It's behind the clouds, clearly. And uh, that's our green planet, I believe, guys. I do, I do, I do. Today was a big day, 1101, in terms of chemtrailing across the Midwest United States and I think other areas of the world too. But they were really trying to cover up several things as we saw earlier today. But one of the things they, they were trying to cover up was this reverse rainbow again, guys. It was as clear as can be today. And thank you for the subscriber that uh, sent that one in for us to look at. But that reverse rainbow indicates that it's an object up there, guys. Cameras you know, access just does. Down in Australia. In Australia. Antarctica, rather. It's the Australian Antarctic Division. They're very generous with their footage. I'm just going to take you for a spin on 31st October 2016. Just look at it, guys. Just tell me what you're seeing here, because we're looking straight up in the sky, and I can't tell you what I'm seeing. And I've been seeing this for a long time. Check it out. See the circle and the triangles and all the weirdness on there? And these stationary objects up in the sky that are like all there all the time. It almost looks like the surface of some kind of a planet or something. I can't tell you, man. Let's let it spin around and see if we have a clear day on the first two here. Looking at it real time with Steve Olson right now. First time. And again. Oh, did you see that shadow come by? That probably was the moon. Look at that circle down in the lower middle unbelievable thing i just i don't know what to tell you about it um it's weird i just wanted to show it to you again it's the one of the things that has stumped me ever since i've been 
researching this. Is there a stationary object sitting over the southern hemisphere of the world? Okay. I don't know. Before I get uh, into the musical portion of tonight's episode and also all of the, you know, several of the October picks that I uh, kind of picked out to, to share with you guys at the end of the video with music, I wanted to talk to you about something. Of, again, it's about God. Sorry. <laughs> it's about God. Yeah, you got to listen. Listen to me. A lot of you have this, this mistaken notion that we're talking about inmates in a prison and that you're an inmate in a prison that God somehow is going to pop you loose um, in some kind of act of great grace and mercy, which is kind of true in a way. However, that's not the way you're supposed to look at it. The way you're supposed to look at it is that you're a child that belongs to a family and that family is the, the family of God and the kingdom of God. And it's time for you to come home. That's what the gospel's about, not about inmates or penalties or anything like that. It's it's the, your family saying, come home now. It's time to come home. Come home. Come home to Jesus. Come home to Yeshua. He'll lead you right to the Father, man. I promise you. Have a good night.